kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Old World Blues of Fallout New Vegas, guys. Now, guys, I know in the, la in the last video, guys, you guys said you wanted me to do the divide. Now, guys, I have to state again, I have to state that I cannot leave this DLC until this qu this thing is finished. So, when I'm done with this, I will do the divide, and I will. I will. Oh, look, an auto dock upgrade! The cosmetic enhancements. I'm gonna take that. Uh, open cabinet. Uh, there's a beer in there. I'm gonna sell that. But I don't have the regular auto dock, so I don't have that enhancement yet. So I guess this is where I get the auto dock stuff. Ooh, look at this. Take a sink project auto dock. Ah, oh, man, it's. I think I got the auto dock shit. Uh, so. Uh, pack of cigarettes. That's good. Oh shit, oops, I accidentally fired. I just wasted some ammo. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna do something. That way, I'm in demigod mode, I can't die, but... I'm in demigod mode, so I can't die. But, I can still go low on ammo, which will make this game still challenging for me to fight. I have to be conservative with ammo, I can't just go... <laughs> Carton of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. Okay, those are always good to sell. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm gonna need the force field thing to get through here. Is that a hand? Look, there's a hand in there. Hold on. If I can zoom. Yeah, there's a hand there. Wait, let me if I can find it. Do I have a weapon that has a scope on it? No, I don't. I left all my weapons back at the, uh, back at the, uh, homeworld. Back at the original game. So, ooh, auto dock upgrade implant C13. Hmm. Hmm. Caps and a carton of cigarettes. Locker. We got beer, combat armor. Ooh, nice. Uh, drain, drain, drain. Dirty water. Hold on, okay. So let me uh, go to my tab. Uh, let's see, combat armor. Combat helmet. I do want to wear that lobotomite thing with plus my strength and medium. But, okay, let's go to my stats, and go to my status, uh, effects. I still have alcohol withdrawal, so I need to get rid of that. So, items, aid, I do should have some fixer. Addictions removed, good. So, fixer is a temporary addiction removal, shit. So, the spineless perks add plus strength. So, I want to see my special real quick. I currently have a seven special. And my intelligence is not that high, so I need to get that shit up. So I'm gonna call it tabbing up an auto dock that was buried. Huh. So we're here on the first floor. There's no other doors, and I can't go through that door unless I have No! Damn, the fixer went off wore off, I'm assuming. That's why I'm gonna check I'm gonna check that just in case. Open desk. I didn't think to open the desk pre-war money will get me some uh, I don't know why I'm worrying about this. God, stop that! It's creeping you the fuck out. Coca-Cola. Carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, I don't worry about. Why is that happening? That's fucking creeping me out. It needs to stop. That literally needs to stop. It's fucking creeping me out. Is there a door up here? Or am I just fucking... Delusional, I can't go in here until I have the upgrade. Shit, I keep fucking- My damn mouse keeps hitting the hitting the monitor. And, Cause my monitor- Cause I'm- I'm using a- Stop! Does this fixer just do that to me? Or am I just wrong here? I never had that problem with fixer before. Like, seriously. Oh god. Oh god, I wish I could open this. I can't access this terminal. Dog hide belt. Uh, except recycling energy cells. Yes, crafted items at the workbench for crafting. Okay, that's good. I guess I can't do any more than that. Ah, fucking hell! It's fucking pissing me off. Can I stop these effects? Can I remove these effects? Picture has worn off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Been bugging the shit out of me. Elevator. I guess I can't do anything here yet. So I'll come back here when I can. So go back to Big Mountain. So I want to go back to the go to the other ones. So don't do this to me, right now. Okay. 
Uh, sip some root beer. Yeah. Fuck, I spilled root beer on me. Oh, wait, you okay, did. so since I can't no, do anything in there... Wait, I technically found one of the things. I just realized that. So I can go back and do other things. I did find the sink auto dock project, so... That means I must have found one of the few things. There's some quite a bit of radiation here. Refrigerator. Let's start to oh, irradiated water, irradiated sunset sarsaparilla, irradiate. Oh man, I'm gonna have to find a way to under irradiate it. Plasma mines. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, god. Ah, oh, man. Pulse mines. Yeah. There are no ghosts, only landmines. Huh? Got your cigarette. Sunset sarsaparilla. Nice. I always love getting sunset sarsaparilla. Mentats. Nice. Uh, I, I know this place is highly irradiated. For some reason, I'm not getting irradiated highly. Ooh, a mailbox. Uh, programmer's die chest. Nice. Okay, I'm going back to the mines, you think? They're shooting at me. Kind of... Nice. Alrighty, you got some sh a caravan shotgun. Nice. Uh, holes. Uh, the bottom of my goggles and helmet, but it minus is too intelligent, so I'm not gonna take that. So, hold on. I should have a, the caravan shotgun. Okay, I don't need to maintain that right now, so I can just sell this later. Like, I could take more shotguns, repair them, sell them. That would make things easier, you know, if you, like... That's the thing I've noticed, if you have enough of something, you can sell it and return it somewhere. And return it somewhere. I think I have to go to that eventually, because that's a tower. Oh, look at this, another blue grass. Surprisingly, it's still alive here. It's kind of be it is kind of beautiful, though, to see blue grass. The X-12 Research Center. It's a pack of cigarettes. Hmm. I know what's in here. Ooh, a Sunset Sarsaparilla machine! Uh, actually, I want to drink up all my Sunset Sarsaparilla while I'm here. Aid. Uh, fancy lady cakes. Re Every bit of Sunset Sarsaparilla is. Because you always have that chance to get a star bottle cap, which I really want. I kind of want to care. I'm curious what's in here. Oh god, guys, I love this game! Oh... I'm almost supposed to go in there, but there's really stuff in here. Uh... K9, X-ray, cyber... Er, er, cyber dog gun sealed in X-12. I want the cyber dog gun, but where am I gonna get, gonna get it? Some sunset... empty sunset sarsaparilla here. Pack of cigarettes. Pink gun, tire iron. There's only two game, uh, two um, cyber dog guns in the game, and I can't get it here until I have the shield de deplete e eating fucking gun, which does nothing. The K9000 gun. I can't go down there until I have it. We have we haven't encountered any of the major enemy uh, some in very specific enemies, guys. Oh god, guys, they're gonna give you some Doctor Who vibes. I tell you what. Wait, why did I do that? Night Stalkers. Night Stalker, blood and tails. Um, that one's still sitting. It's kind of cool. Oh wait, they lay eggs. Oh yeah, they are part snake. By the way, guys, they're part snake, part tarantula, and part dog, which is fucking weird. Ah, oh, God. Hey, nice stalker. Thank you. Just wanted to do that. Oh, yeah, I gotta go this way. I'm gonna turn on my pit boy. The light. Huh, there's more little boxes here. Foot lockers. Ooh, rounds. Man, this place does reward you if you do your, do your cards right. Dim packs, which is kind of useless in this case. But it is always good to have them. In case I forget that I'm not in this mode. Because every time I restart the game, Demigod mode is removed. They have God mode and Demigod mode, and Demigod mode only exists in New Vegas. Two ways to go. I'm guessing that's the Forbidden Zone over there. Ooh, another electrical. Signal Hill transmitter. Look at these boxes. Let's go in. Ooh, Nuka Cola. The card of cigarettes. Let's go look inside the Transmitter Hills area. Hmm. Seems to be broken radios and stuff like that. Ooh, what's this? Auto dog upgrade. Hair styling enhancement. Nice. That means I can redesign my character if I want. 
Pre-war money, pack of cigarettes. Ooh, some scrap. Oh, take with recipes. Barter skill book. Okay, um... That means I can craft some other stuff. So, ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Keep searching around. Man, this place is, like, very rewarding. Like, I've never gotten this much loot before in a game. Like, all this loot! Open the desk. Oh, caps, cartons, and cigarettes. Ooh, Mentat! Wait, that is not what I wanted to do. Get out of the chair, dumbass. Get out of the chair. Okay, give me, give me the Mentats. What, are those blank books? Oh, carton of cigarettes. A flower. Okay, this place has, has enough loot in it, okay. There's lobotomites! Get over here! Ah, oh, flame fuel, energy cells! I need to start setting up shit, okay? What was at five? Or ten pistol. Okay, I'm gonna grab. Got him. Fucking Mr. Gutsies. I fucking hate them. I tell ya. Ugh. Ooh, a Mintat. Mintats. Can't get up there. I'm not gonna bother with it. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Give me all your, your stuff. Hmm, what's all this? Plants? Or is that scrap metal? Where am I? X-22 Biological Garden. Do I need to be here? <gasps> it's the spore carriers! Patient Zero, Spore Carrier. I'm stuck. Never mind. Who's Patient Zero? What? Uh, what's with the blood sauce and spore plant pods? Spore Carriers. How are they here? Those are in Vault 22. Activate seed package. Dry and rock flower added. Dried jalapeno pepper added. Dried pinto bean pot added. Yeah, why is there so much? Why is with this place? I have never seen this before. This place already gives me the creeps. X8 and X13 and X2 are your. I'm sorry. Um. I'm having trouble you finding these places. You must hurry. Big book of science. Psycho. Y zero research center. Data. I'm actually near the location I gotta be in. X twenty two. Mm -hmm. All right, that had boxing times. I just need to get up to higher ground from here. How am I gonna get up there? The place I need to go is right. Is this where I need to be? The biological sta sink project biological oh, research station. That's what it needed. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So I can go that way. Hmm. Another one of these. I guess I can take it. More the merrier, right? Did I research this? Ugh. Wait. What quest am I on? All my f ends have sw off switches. Oh! Find the missing modules for the sink tank auto dock and the biological stancher. Brains. Hmm. I should. It says I have to talk to them. That's a bad. Sonic. Upgrade Sonic Mineral Transfer. I'm in the wrong b quest. Um. Although. All my friends have off switches does help. So. The sink auto dock and the biological research. So. Actually, this is pretty perfect. You know, do these quests. That means I'm doing side quests, which makes things perfect. <sighs> which I have no problem with side quests. Side quests are fucking option. Awesome. Have a shoot at me. Hello, lobotomite. Critical hit! I'm running low on ammo. Oh, a shotgun, caravan shotgun. I might need to use the shotgun. Hold on. Time to start switching to the caravan shotgun. 
two bobby pins to my name. Nice. And this has got lots of ammo to it. There's no other ammo to it, it's just 12 gate. I was surprised to find spore carriers here. That was, that was weird. And spore characters are actually, to be honest guys, are actually one of my favorite re characters. Favorite, uh, mo mobs, or, or, uh, I think I'm stuck. Technically, I can't really die. Yeah, this is the room I gotta go to. It's good, uh. Oh yeah, the eye walking eyes. Oh man, I remember that's that thing. I do have the rebreather, I think. Look at that. Sink. Light switches in the jukebox. Ah, I got more to this. At least I have the, uh, at least I have the rebreather. Drain microfusion cells. I think I, th I ha this is the one I have talked to the boomers in. Have I talked to the boomers in this? It should show me the... I don't think this is the one where I did the boomers in. Shit. Separate one. Also, guys, these iBots is another Wild Wastelanders perk, irk thing, so... So, you know. I do like the Wild Wastelanders perk because it always brings in reference, uh, pop culture references. Apparently, this is from a TV show that's been recent. And watch what happens. Well, yeah, I think, listen. There should be something special to come out. World map. I am closest to this one, so I'm going to start with this one first. Hmm, more little box. Fucking hell, man. Give me your energy cells. Ugh. Oh, fuck those guys. I'm out of here. Hmm. Oh, no. Shadows. Spine. Ah! Oh. Ah, my my addiction to Kim is no longer apparent. My addiction to alcohol is no longer apparent. So I'm no longer an addict to alcohol. Which is good. Hmm. Big Mountain North Tunnel. What's this? I can't get up there. Requires key. Hmm. How am I back here again? So the North Tunnel is the entrance. It is where the location is. I just need- Hi guys! Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Insanity! Now guys, if you're probably wondering, why was that large cut in there? Because, guys... <laughs> my computer is a piece of shit! Oh god. No guys, if you're probably wondering why I'm eating this muffin, it's because I'm stress eating. Because I can't make good content for you guys because my computer refuses to cooperate. At least I got to shave before the shitstorm started. At least I covered the logo up. Mm. So, now once again, I have to do this. I hate this game. I hate my computer. 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 And it better not do it again, because this is where it's been doing it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! Get to the bottom of it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Oh god, guys. Oh god, I swear most of this video is really me just trying to fix my computer. So I'm probably just gonna try to figure something out here. I'm probably just gonna teleport somewhere else and then go there. If I have to go the long way, I will. I will go the long way. Just so I can continue the content. Ugh. 
I love root beer. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go the long way because I want to continue the game. What's going on? No! Okay. Just keep going in the direction of the of the location. There's a box here. Caps! And a security baton, which I can sell. Oh, 20 gauge rounds, and a cart! I, I, I didn't mean to take the camera, but I can sell it later anyway. So, anyway, let's go! Oh, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. I'm going insane, as you can see. Oh, God. I hate my computer. I hate it so much. I do not like it. It drives me insane. I cannot sing. But you're listening to me sing. You're probably hating me. I am sorry. Oh god. Yeah, guys, I'm going fucking nuts. Just come on. Just... Yeah! God, why is there so many foot lockers out here? With, with tools in them, like, just like, I just noticed there's just a bunch of foot lockers welded into the ground with nothing but useless shit in it. <coughs> oh, shit. Excuse me, guys, I am so sorry. Ugh, oh, man, guys. Not just my fucking body, but my mind. I see you there. Okay, uh, yeah, oh, da. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna start carrying the drain ones. Jet. gotta go. I think I gotta go in there anyway because there's a particular quest I gotta do. Uh, what's my quest? Oh man, I have a lot of quests. Now, man, I hope I can complete them all at the end of this. I wanna be able to clean them, complete them all before I end with more blues. Hmm, okay, um, X2, X8, and X13. That's what I gotta look for. I think that's where I'm heading. Which, luckily the perk I had him showed me this. The X2. Array. Hmm, this might be where we're going to find some uh, Doctor Who-like things. Remember the Vasta Marada? You like that lobotomite? Give me this. Stashes up here. Looks like some buff out. Hmm. And looting is so rewarding. I wish they didn't have this weight problem in the game, but I know it's supposed to make it challenging, but seriously, I hate the weight. Let's uh, go ahead and confu um, do some shit. Uh, quest. Uh, well, no, no, not qu uh, why can't I access my shit? Why can't I access it? Ah, oh, shit. Is it because of the weapon I'm carrying, or is it... Man, that's gonna piss me the fuck off. I can access those, but I can't access this. Mm. 
Something's wrong. I'm gonna save. Oh no. No, 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 no. No! Something's wrong. Why is this doing this to me now? Oh god. I'm gonna take it all. Make it easier on me. Why can I mess with the interface? Fix it in a minute. Hold on. No, how about if I do this? If I go into another area, the X2 transmitter, I think this is where I have to be. Apparently, it's dangerous. Please fix it. Please fix it. No, I didn't fix it. Continued resistance is unlawful. Violence will not be tolerated. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. If I'm already here. Let's try something else. Uh, I can't. Oh, this is the guys I was talking about. These guys. Look at that. They're skeletons. The Y17 trauma override type things. I wanna take care of whatever items they're all holding. They're very well equipped too. There you are. I'm very near close to the pylon, so I can't go too far off. I'm sorry guys, I'm having trouble with my game. It's very malfunctioned at the current moment. Oh! Hey, who turned out the lights? Did you hear that? That's actually from the show from Doctor Who. I am not. Oh, it's fixed. Okay. Oh, thank God, it's fixed. Okay. Okay. That means I can probably access my weapons again. Okay. What? No. No. I can go through that and pick what I want, but I can't 
fucking grab. No, it made it worse again. So I'm gonna try something here. Uh, I know I can fast track. Okay, did that fix anything? Okay, everything's back to normal now. Uh, hold what on. terrors does Big Mountain hold for the intrepid seeker? Really? Does anyone know? I'm at a loss. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, thank you, it fixed. Uh, I don't know what the hell my computer was doing, but I finally fixed it somehow. Let's go back into the dangerous zone. Now, if you heard to hear that, Hey, Who Turned Out the Lights was actually another little reference to Doctor Who. That's what those guys were referencing. Those guys themselves are a... No. No. No! 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 Ah, uh, uh, I have to deal with that. You gotta be shitting me. Oh god, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Something about this area is pissing me off. I gotta find a way to fix this. Hmm. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Hold on. No, that didn't work. The Y-17 facility? No. Alright. Uh, okay, there we go. I was hoping something would happen. Yeah. I'm very, very pissed off. Well, at least, guys, you get to see the My Little Pony background. Thank you, Bethesda. Thank you. Thank you, Bethesda. And thank you, um... Hold on, whoever, uh, let's see, uh, Asus, I got Asus, I don't like your computers anymore. Cause this computer's a piece of shit! Uh, I don't know, maybe I should make a computer sweep on this again. Oh, uh, continue. Yes. Maybe. The Vasta Marad. I'm gonna call those guys the Vasta. The Vasta Marad. Yeah, I, these guys, I am like to call the Vasta Marada. Because that's what they look like. The Vasta Marada. Tech Plasma play. At least I got a decent weapon on hand. I'm just sick and tired of this game being a piece of shit to me. Or at least my computer. Oh yeah, you guys are already dead. Oh yeah, we gotta grab you! Sick project number one! That means... The next quest should be unlocked. Find toaster, muggy, and book shoes. We have to come here anyway, so before we continue that quest, we're gonna actually have to do part of the main quest here, since this is actually one of the main quests we gotta do. So, hold on, I also wanna access my items. Mm -hmm. The plasma rifle. Now this is what I'm talking about! This was actually the weapon I had before. That I never fucking got to use. Uh -huh. Gotta go up. I bet you this, though. Alright. Missiles. Nice, thank you. Thank you for dying.
Big door to Big Mountain, so we'll deal with that later. That's the next one on the quest thing. All my friends have light switches, so it's have off switches. So missing modules for the toaster, muggy, and book shoes. So I have several I can go to. Let's go to my world map and find out where they are. One is undiscovered, and the other one is not been discovered. The others. Yeah, we're gonna wait. This one. We're gonna go to that one next. After this one. So of course I'm gonna go to the sink. And do things. I like to do these que these side quests, guys. I just love side questing. Mm. All right, good boy, that shit. Well, what's this? This looks interesting. Ooh, mintats. Let's see. Uh, March was. Ooh. Uh, Night Stalker eggs. We're near a Night Stalker's nest. There's a lot of dead corpses just lying around the Night Stalker eggs. Ooh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Nice. I'm surprised the Sunset Sarsaparilla hasn't been too irradiated yet. I think I'm near the Night Stalker cave. That's probably why there's so much Night Stalker eggs around, because I've been taking, because there's a Night Stalker. A teddy bear. This is an odd scene. The ch cuckoo's nest. Y'all need a shovel. Shit. Uh, what's a shovel? What's the shovel? I, sh I might be able to find the shovel if I can. Give me a minute. What's this? I only have a comment. Oh, I got a comment for Go Fallout. Okay. Uh, no, I won't go deep into this. I don't have a shovel. It's my fault. I don't have a shovel. I, kn I know where to get a shovel. It's just I didn't bother to fucking get one. Oh, I do have a shovel! I did get a shovel, and I know where it is! It's still back at the main area. I should have kept it with me. Mm. I'm a do doofus. Oh, here we go.
Damn little bottomites. Nice combat armor. We're gonna enter the cuckoo's nest, guys. Here's what we're looking for. God, these guys are cannibals. Yeah. Test subject one. Uh, I guess he's a boss. Bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Nice. Uh, proton hacks. Oh, shooting at me. How did a Y17 trauma override harness do that? Get in here. So how did the Vosta get here? Oh, the angry face on my character right now. Seriously, guys, those guys were inspired by the uh, Vasta Marada, which I love. Now we're going. I'm gonna go. Since we can't go there just yet, we gotta. I'm gonna go to the sink balcony. Plus, because there's an opportunity to get, uh, drop off some of those, uh, sent those, uh, portable, uh, things, you know? Because we got some stuff for a shrink. Now that we have the sink stuff. Because everything in here has an auto dock thing. Might I be of service, sir? Uh, first, uh, uh. Oh no, not this again. Oh, this helps. Um, uh, what kind of artifact? Uh, uh, buy some things. Very good, sir. Okay, this helps. Uh, how do I? this again. Oh, fuck. Um, 
God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then. You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. God, I'd just like to drink. Oh, I'd love to, darling. But the circuits that allow me to dispense water into non-organic containers burned out years ago. You'd have to find a replacement for that module. Huh. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. Well then. You've been working with that biological research station, haven't you? I suppose you'll want to ugh, clean up. I'll talk to Come you. back any time you want to drink or to get mm, clean. Um, not the refrigerator. A most rapturous good morrow on your return to your domicile, sir. I trust you shall find things in order and the riff raff contained. Oh my! Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. Hmm. Can't use that. Shut it in if then. I'm not often to meet the light switch with brains and beauty. I think you're going to. I, I can hear. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. Maybe one of these nights we can discuss theorems. I enjoy that. Me too. Hope you can keep up. I work pretty fast. Here, something for you to brush up on. A poor digest. What functions do you serve? Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. What were the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Can you turn those lights on for me? As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Mm, Certainly. Go. I'm looking forward to it. Well then, that was interesting to know. I want to see what the other light switches are. Hmm, I can talk to the auto doc, can I? Uh, well, how about that? Old auto doc's back online. Well, all right, come here. Let's have a look at you. You are, without a doubt, the healthiest son of a bitch you've ever seen wandering the big empty. Ain't got no use for an old digital sawbones like me. Um, can you do anything beyond healing me? Well, firstly, I would say providing wholeness of the body is service enough, but if you must know, I'm also programmed with cosmetical subroutines. Diagnostic says they're offline at the moment, though. Something about corrupted data files and all manner of such foolishness. If you want a haircut or a nose job that won't leave you looking like a ghoul with alopecia, you'll have to find replacement discs for them. Also, and I won't swear to this, but I recollect at some point having a few implant installation modules. Can't speak to where they got to, though. I feel like a little unwell in the head. Can you perform a psychiatric evaluation for me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? One second that, not now. Well, I'll be right here if you change your mind. Uh, I want to wait. With him. Uh, there should be another light switch somewhere I want to talk to. Um, because there's two light switches in the game that you can talk to. Can I open them? Ooh, oh, yeah, baby. 
feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online, ready to receive your seed. Okay then, that got creepy. Now, baby, I'm all about biology. I'm the original, certified, rarefied, testified GS2000 Biological Research Station. I'm a seed cloning machine. You got seeds. I will clone the shit out of them. What does that mean? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, and I'll work my mojo on them. Clone you up all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. I can also break them down for you. If you're into the kinky stuff, bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient cream for you. Yeah, you like that, don't you, baby? Planters? You know it, baby. I just need some samples, and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kind of good. <laughs> What's sailing green? Just the miracle of life in sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. Heat that gunk up over a campfire and just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. Uh, I'd like to uh, process some plants. I love it when you talk like that. Let me just get that interface up and running for you. Uh, Sam Green. Two Sam Green seats. Okay. Big empty. Maybe the other light switch is in here or something. I don't know. Oh, here you are. Mmm, that was a nice little, uh, catnap. How long was I out? Senator Vlom. A life switch that turns me on. I must be dreaming. <laughs> oh, you. I bet you say that to all the light switches. Mmm. Only the sexy one. Now I know you're flirting with me. And it's working. Why don't you take this <laughs> to remember me by? I like this. Uh, meeting people added. What are you? What are you? What kind of novelty talking switch? Some kind of... I saw another light switch in the other room. Do you control that one too? Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie. You're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. Sounds like there's some bad plumbing between you. Uh, circuits? That bitch. She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Uh, processors? Sure thing, sweetie. Mm. I was Dr. Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. That's right, how lighting affects human interaction. Hmm. And what did you find out? Oh, it was super exciting. It turns out that some pretty colored lights can make you way better at talking to people. Hmm. Oh, I love to, sweetie, but I don't have the programming. All the data from the experiments was lost. You'd have to go out into that nasty old crater and find the backup copy. Hmm. Bye now. So let's see. Can I go back and talk to the other one? And see, uh, birthday box. Syringe. Oh, that works. Alright. How can I illuminate you? Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. 
So these light switches can talk to each other and Might I be of service, sir? Very good indeed, sir. Throwing out the riffraff protocols engaged. All personality matrices are offline, sir. Do you, sir? Well, if that is sir's wish, it is my primary directive. Personality matrices online, sir. Indubitably, sir. But it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. Moreover, they neglected to enclose a parameter by which said honorific might be omitted altogether. Over my most strenuous of remonstrances, sir. Well then. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. Uh -huh. Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, sir. Uh, why aren't there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Hmm. Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Indubitably, sir. Indubitably. Okay. Very good, sir. Okay, I guess I should just leave, maybe, and try to go find the other parts. No, I, I think I should go on to the main quest, because, uh, as much as I want to introduce you to that, you guys to the toaster and muggy, uh, it would, it would be interesting to show you, uh, show you guys those guys. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah, I gotta do the quest. Uh, high school horror. Indubitably, sir. Have some fun. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm performing the same surgery the whole time. So object terminal. terminal. These brains. Stay in that jar. 
So I have all the uh, info off of them, you know, let me know. I'm not going around reading every damn thing, I'm just trying to... I don't need. Ah, yes. Man, I love the loot here. It's so fascinating. Okay. Oh, look at this! Splicing facility terminal. Due to the recent government, uh, okay. Who am I? I feel different. Awake. So I must go back. I looted everything out of here, so let's go back. Go the other way. Is that Mentats? Hell yeah! No. Gutsies, you know, uh, you, you think the, uh, you know, um, wouldn't shout British terms, more American terms, like, more like, uh, what's the word? Mm. Mm, I'm not gonna read these. Mm. It looks like these are this where they make the robo dogs. Hey, dog robot splicing experiment. Bar's key. Uh, 
Just testing facility requires key. Requires key. Combat armor, nice. Oh, let's see here. Enter institutional data retrieval. Basic test. These are called hall monitors. That is hilarious. Oh, God. I'm guessing this is it. Wolverines. I think I saw a video on this, of what the Wolverines were. In this little DLC. bottomize here. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, I'm alive. It's surprising when you find packs of cigarettes in a school. What the hell? We knocked his leg off. Okay, I know what this is referencing. This is referencing those paintings you see of dogs gambling and sit, stay, kill. I'm guessing it's referencing those lip, laugh, love things. Go 
card test. <laughs> Tests are currently incomplete. Beware of dog. Ready, part two! God, he's huge! Oh, he didn't see me. Ah, oh, fuck, you can't kill me. I'm not gonna bother killing him, because there's actually special dialogue you can get if you leave him alive. Uh... But that is a huge dog. Look at that. Look at that, that's Gabe! Yeah, his name is Gabe. Look at his eyes! Look at those eyes! <laughs> Hold on. Two more spots I can use. Look at One more. Ah. Prepare to be attacked by Doctor Oh no, I don't think I can leave him alive long enough. Just ask me to go this way now. Uh, 
hope I can keep, uh, keep the cyber dog alive, but oh well. Get over here. thing I gotta do is go to the X-13 research facility. Mm, we can't fast travel yet because the enemy is nearby. So we're gonna destroy the enemies first. X-12 research facility. So we're gonna have to walk. So, don't mind me eating. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, guys, I need another soda. Because it's getting late, I'm going to need a Mountain Dew. X-13. Here we go. I think this is where I get the, uh... This... This is where I get the still suit. one that's two and here's three now hold on oh yeah by the way guys uh so you know there's actually a hold on this is gonna bug the shit out of me
We have this still suit. Let's try to... Okay, right, guys, the ray antenna is an actual weapon. Oh yeah, this one is a uh, micro these micro fusion cells, unfortunately, but it's the laser layer. I don't know what it does, but more about we can find out. Oh, this one takes E cells. I'm gonna pull this one out. I got the suit. Okay, so still suit Mark II added. So let's find the still suit. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? I don't know. Can you, though? Hold on. We're okay on Stimpax. Painkiller reserves critical. Oh, the pain. More drugs. Data collection array online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. This is the basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us. All X-13 tests? There's a lot of X-13s? spotted by robots. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, I won't mess up again. This should be easy, as long as I don't screw up again. Okay. This test so hard. I'm real good at stealth. Come by. What is my goal in this? Hold on, I want to check the data real quick. Mm, basic infiltration test. So I have to go into the wall safe, wherever it might be. Do you like me? Well, that's a random question. Oh, nice. Thank you, science, for de helping me deactivate shit. Oh, yes! Test data processed. From yes. updated to version 1.1. Boot damping sensors online. And this update uploads the thing. Done! Plus 10 sneak! So I activated the still suit. Well, I want to get this suit upgraded to its full. Go, my minion! Steal them in the name of all that is Mobius!
So if I destroy all the rubber blades. Escape me! What if I destroy all the dealt with? Time. What if I deal with all the rubber blades? That's all. I'll just replace them. Ready, steady, fight. Oh, that's too bad. Those robots would normally help defend us and the facility if we're attacked. Ready is complete. Ready, steady. Scorpion, attack! Hmm, we can advance our culture. This is the advanced test. Watch out for laser tripwires. They'll ruin our day. Okay, um, so that's good to know. Disarm it. That no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. Bad guys dealt with. Okay, I like how it's now easier. It's supposed to be advanced, and you're not supposed to de be able to deactivate the robots. But now, that because I can deactivate robots because of my perks, uh, it makes the test so much easier. Surprisingly. Oh. No. I still I got I still gotta get to the next location it's here. Okay, a science of fifty allows me to do that. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go that way. So I must have gone the wrong direction. Hmm. I thought so there'd be one in here. Too bad. Ah! That one was totally my fault, though. We can start again at the terminal. Sorry. Motherfucker. Ah, that means I have to go all the way back. Cause that one terminal. One! That one! Ah, God, guys. Ah, oh, God, that pissed me off so much. Ah. Oh, well. Gotta try again. Man, ah, oh god, I gotta sell that. Oh well, I, I don't mind disarming it, it just gives me bonus, I think. I'm not sure. I'm... What the hell? I just thought, uh, hey, I just. Ooh, I found the energy cells. Nice, I didn't realize there was a one safe. I'm not supposed to give hints, but maybe you can disable the tripwires. Oh wait, oh, oh wait, there's another one I could disable. I never noticed. Okay, if I already disabled them, I don't want to worry about them. Forget that one, we're never opening that one again. Wait, there's one walking around? Okay. 
Test data processed. For more updated to version 1.2, our subnet online. Okay, plus one to perception. Nice. Some more opera. This still suit adds more perks to me. Or more. Let's go to stats and go to effects. Has plus. Oh, the stealth suit gives me plus 25 sneak and one perception. Okay, that's good. That's cool. I, I'm fine with that. What does that make my sneak? My sneak is at 54 right now. Oh, that's kind of awesome. This one looks pretty tough. Fixing things. This one. Test selection. Begin expert. This is the expert stealth test. If you thought the lasers were bad, wait till you see the proximity mines. You gotta be shitting me. How am I supposed to disable the proximity mines? Might have been a blip. Okay. Alright, everyone, calm down. Might have been a blip. How am I gonna get past this if I don't know where the proximity mines are? Bad guys dealt with. triggered a mine. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, I'll do better next time. That's what the mines look like. So I need to find all these mines. Uh, if, if I could find all the mines, I can activate them. Through here, I go through there, I can skip it. There's a mine there. It's not here, but right here. This is the place. Oh, I can turn it off. So let's go turn off all the mines. For some reason I couldn't turn this one off. Huh. That one I can't turn off, so that's that's good to know. I can turn them all off, maybe, just maybe. Well, I need to go through here and go through here. Make sure I turn off all the proximity mines in the area. For some reason, one of them I can't turn off, and it's fucking crazy. It's just the one. Like, wasn't there another proximity mine? Right, I mainly need to go that way. Okay, let's go to the actual office and disable any proximity mines in the office. So this one proximity mine I can't deactivate. I've gotten all the others. Let me get at least one proximity mine. Oh, what's in here? Got a single proximity mine in here? Got one? So let's just try to go back through it. Now that I disabled all the proximity mines and all the trip wires, this should be good again. This would go lots faster. See what I mean? No. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. Data processed for more updated to version 1.3. Torso fit and agility. User's nice. physiology. Status plus need one perception one agility. Nice. I have a good stealth suit now, but too bad it doesn't turn me render me invisible like a stealth boy. That'd be awesome to do that. But now that I have an actual proper full-on upgraded stealth suit. I'm happy. I don't care. Now let's get out of here. Seeking gun. Fighting now. You won't escape me! We're out! 
Oh, maybe not. Come on, eat my fist. Giant scorpions. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Eat my fist. Eat my fist. Come on. You're all fucking in there. That's all. the sink balcony because I want to go to the balcony. <clears throat> Reasons being because there's some stuff there. Hmm. Hmm. No. Hmm. You ever seen a biological research station this full of sea? God, that's really, really fucking creepy. Talk to the uh, jukebox. What's the haps? Right on, baby. Let's spin some grooves. Think tank. Gotta go there anyway. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. technological information. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Um, hmm. No. I mean, yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? Do you even know what these technologies do? I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me, hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Oh boy, the sneak. Look. Yes, that's what I believe I said. 
it's a cardiac regulator. The sonic frequency is a spot in the spinal vibrator. I've got it. The cardiac regulator in the suit, the antenna for brain waves, and the sonic frequency for the vertebral nerves. I'm waiting for you to draw the conclusion. I'm thinking. This is all very complicated. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Science, don't these items seem more biologically focused than that, though? Um... Uh, Biological? <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message. And Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. I guess. What if I side with Mobius and kill all of you? Because that's what I might kind of want to do. This one looks pretty tough. Fuck off, Mobius. Anyway, I might just side with you because of the simple fact that you're a dick. And I can appreciate being an asshole every so long. But sometimes being an asshole is fun. Decision of hostilities complete. I did go happen to go over here. Now that I'm here at the Forbidden Zone. Tail rocking Time to fight. Shorter to oh. oh God. Sneaking down, fighting now. Well, unfortunately, I'm hitting the X-42 giant Robo Scorpion with my fucking fist, and it's working. And it works! Wait, can I, can I get its parts? Can I search its parts? That looks like something I could search. Oh, take all. Okay, that looked fun as fuck. I'll be honest. Yes. I, I fought it. So, how am I getting in here? Can I even get in here?
Oh, I can't even access my weapons right now. Hold on. this right now like this is pissing me off that I can't you like literally use it wait what happened to finding the damn thing so I can do I not have it I'm gonna need the shield thing and I don't think it's in there Optional complete all. Wait, did I not complete them all? Turn to games bowl. Oh yeah, I still gotta do that test to order to complete this. To order to complete this, I need to take that test. Killed a scorpion. Because with this weapon, I can disable force fields. I can only do that if I actually. Let's go to the world map. Okay. I'm gonna go to the X88 Research Center to do this, so this is gonna suck. I might complete this DLC right now. I might have to go this way. Now, watch this. Look at all these fucking toy dinos. Proton throwing axe.
I cannot get out, so hold on. Law abiding citizens. God, this guy had a terrible childhood. This area clear. Let's search for call. Engaging hostile target. Oh, it's upstairs. I forgot there's an upstairs here. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. Are we just killed Fighting one? Over. This one looks pretty tough. Do not Gain damage bonus every against everything because you like killing everything. Okay, so I've noticed my game only likes to do things when it wants to. Likes to fuck. This one looks pretty tough. Ah, fuck you guys! I have no time for you. Really? Get the fuck up! I have the shield thing, and I can go Eve. I so wanted to. Hello. Ooh, mint hats. I didn't know I missed these. Now. Can I do that? No, that was a mistake.
fighting over. This one looks pretty tough. They literally just looted it. Hmm. Take dog lobotomite splicing experiment. I get myself out. Gotta get out. Come on, I just came back from here and I need to get out. There's the exit. Tired of being here, so I gotta get out. Now that I have it, I can go to what's his name's uh, facility, the Forbidden Zone. Let's go to the Forbidden Zone. Yes, the Forbidden Zone. No. No! Don't do this to me now! I just got this shit! Ah! Uh, fuck! We were doing good! Yes, yes, I get it. Are you corporate and corporate espionage? Please tell me I got it. Wait. No. Quest. About the X8 test. Didn't I already just do that? Ah, fuck it. I want to see if I can fight Dr. Movius the normal way. Data. Maybe I don't really necessarily need it. I can just do this. Don't make me fight it again. I've already fought it. Okay. Uh, God damn. Maybe we just go up. Fight Mobius in another way. Yeah, I have to go the long way. I 
that no one has ever been as unnoticed as me. Are you trying to say, Suit, that you're kind of like, notice me, Senpai? Senpai, notice me. Hmm. Mobius? It's kind of like an exact replica of this. Electrons attached to the neutron. The new. Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing... Uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises ooh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? Mm. I'll save it for later. Ah, I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas He's when a those chunky talents are zipping worse. through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though, especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You aren't exactly what. Right, really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Uh, why? Okay, why did you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of reasons. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quiet special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Exactly. I want my brain so I can leave. Why is that a problem? I need my brain back. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. I am curious about some things. No oh, curiosity. I experienced that less now that I know everything. Or oh, maybe it was when I found out some unpleasant answers. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. I don't have high repair, so. Uh. 
Can you tell me about your robots, Ruby? Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. Curious about something. I find things curious as well. Go on. I don't, you don't seem aggressive. Why Brock has his threats to the think tank? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical... He's a drug lung. addict. <laughs> he's not a threat, he's a drug addict. As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Wait, so you like to build it... Wait... So wait, um... Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Even your name, Mobius. So you forgot you were a master plan. Surprised you remember your own name. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the Think Tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Science, you were programmed your, your, their names as a part of a recursion loop. What, to trap their processors? Now, trap is a rather harsh word. This like, is weird. This is interesting, because I have never gotten this far word, before. But still, rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... Hmm. It was designed to prevent the flow of information, so... Why did you trap them? That's why. The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan 9s in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them. Just Plan 9, that, that They're what? probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I well, have to do something spirit. else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan 9s in case the 7s fail. Shit. Uh... Hmm... 
Keep, uh, keep going. I want to hear the rest of this. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Ouroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Hmm. That's kind of an asshole thing to do to your friends. If you lobotomize as the think tank, they tear if you lobotomize the think tank, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. Okay. I I'm starting to suspect he, he purposely says raisin as a joke. But there must be have been other th signs of a larger world. There were other visitors, and why am I different? There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions. But you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Perception is very high right now. My medicine. Perception. The bullet that went into my brain, Doc. Mitchell. Doc Mitchell tried to patch me up, but. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mmm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are that usually explains. much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. <laughs> but it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Hmm, so if I get my brain back in my head, I can't leave ever. So you get set the, your threats on a loop to keep them occupied. Hmm, do you know anything about, about the other visitors? Hmm, I wanna... So if you... Oh no, I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. 
Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. So, you set your threats on a loop to keep them occupied. Yes. I certainly wouldn't loop it on purpose. 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 I am far too sophisticated to make such a childish error, error, error. So he did that on purpose. Okay. Did, did you, uh, know what the others are... Do you know anything about the other visitors? Uh, not much, except they contaminated Big Mountain and installed new ideas in the think tank. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage with his brain and smartiness. Ruthless, that one, played a little rough with the trains. But the last one was the most dangerous. Him eh, slipping away. That was almost as bad as the think tank escaping. What do you mean? The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, asked for weapons, power, items he could use to destroy a nation with force. The other... The other asked a different question, and with it, got the true answer about what makes nations, and what breaks them. He spoke to the think tank, to Klein, showed them the flag of the old world, and it made them remember all of it, all that had happened. They shared things with him that they shouldn't, he now carries those ideas, that knowledge, elsewhere. Hmm. I'm now more curious. Hmm. I'm curious about something. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Of course, I want to know more! I need my brain back. Uh... I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Indeed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Equations? I'm guessing... Brain tank. dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Okay, but... It's... Why are you being sliced well, that's a dick? fine. How do you do? Me! Uh, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? Let's see, um... Of course, you're responsible. You're my brain. I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those ugh, feelings that motivate you, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are.
Shit, I need higher medicine. Oh, come on, that's fun stuff. Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about sepsis, huh? Enjoy that, do we? The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! D don't you have a... Want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. He's got a point, goddamn. Uh, but what about the good things? What are the cool breeze of your cheek or the smell of food, love? Can I see the- I can see your point, but... Uh, too bad. I've got arms, you don't, you're coming with me. Um, uh, food. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Speech, 75. Isn't it just true that you feel this because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So we're, you're, so we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel, and I can't uh, think the way you think. Huh. Well, yeah, I bet you didn't think of that, huh? Indeed. Quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I think we have to trust each other and not acknowledge that we aren't complete if we are separate. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So, what do you say, Brain? Join me for some one for wild adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? They promised they'd put me back together once I did what they wanted. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... <laughs> really? Once Fabulous. they into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Hmm, speech. You're a part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen, uh, happen any more than I do. Hmm. Them share. Come on, brain, it's stomping time. Mm. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? Unarmed? The violence is the last resort or the or the silliest man, I'm leaving mildly uncivilized. With an attitude like that, it's small wonder you got yourself shot in the head. Uh, what's it gonna take? What's it going to take to convince you? I'd like to find a nice little place to live, maybe in Good Springs, and settle down where we won't get shot at. Not as often, at any rate. But since that doesn't seem likely, what's your plan? If the think tank was holding up their up their bar, it will make. We'll make them. Let's. I'll ha handle the brains. You stay here. You'll be more useful outside my head. Uh. Mm. Right. Look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right, 
then off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain is at it. Confront. Okay, confront Dr. Klein at the think tank and end your imprisonment in Big Mountain. Optional, use the auto dock to retrieve your original heart or original spine. But what if I don't want the heart and spine? So those are optional, so that means I don't necessarily need them. Because I get more with the spineless perk, I don't need the spine! Hmm. I won't ever need the spine with the spineless perk, and that's the best part! Meaning I will never need... I can have more strength thanks to this spineless perk. I'm not getting rid of putting my spine back. And the heartless perk, I won't get affected with poison either. So that's a good thing, which won't really matter. Mm-hmm. Let's go to... Yes. I'm gonna use the auto dock. Let's go to the Think Tank. Dr. Klein awaits. Hmm. So, click at the quest. So, the optional confront. You're, you use the sink to auto touch with your original spine, and those are optional. Lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I had a feeling these guys were the bad guys. Your past do ooh, for the lobo your lobotomy, Klein. You are, have noticed the pacification field is down. Guess what happens now? Oh, oh, I have uh, normal the minus now. Uh, I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. Uh... And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. Speech lie. You think I'm a lob I'm the lob I am the lobotomite? No. My skull ha houses the brain of Mobius. <laughs> Do you think I killed Mobius? I can't let you dissect the Mojave or let you leave. I think you're past due for your lobotomy. Um, you ha have noticed the past. Um. Do you think? Yes. Wait, you did, didn't you? You are lying. No, you are not. Your heartbeat. Perspiration, all excessively confident and sure of yourself. Why would you reason with that maniac? He'll destroy us all! I can't let you dissect the Mojave or let you leave. Yes, you can. You don't really have an alternative that I can see. Dr. Klein. I know I wanted an evil route, but I don't like these guys. They just took my brain. It's mostly personal. Are you sure we've calculated all the combat probabilities here? I mean, the lobotomite confronted Mobius. Plus, you know, we haven't had a C-O-M-B-A-T drill in forever. I don't think we could form a tactical attack triangle if we wanted to. Releasing the W-O-M-B-A-T was not my plan, oh, so get off my voice box. Silencing opinionators. We are bigger, smarter, and floatier than you, Lobotomites. We don't wish to fight you, so surrender your brain, now! I think you're due for a Lobotomy, Klein. A fight? I... I've never been in a fight. What... Uh, what... what... what do I... Ah! 
Colleagues! Think tank! Alert! Alert! We are under attack! It's time to bring out this good old multi-pass rifle. Huh. I might have to deal with that later. So, it's gonna bring in... Not that one. The Sonic Emitter. Revelations. Dr. Klein. That's two. You're dead. Sorry, Dala. Much as I like your sexuality, seriously. Where's the last one? Come on, Doctor. What is it? Doctor Eight. I know you can't speak. Hostilities complete. Now we got rid of them. They have all what I needed in them. Leave the think tank. Now. So, technically, this is me as the end of the DLC. I managed to complete the DLC in two episodes? Uh, let's go to the sink. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The sink Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the Magneto Hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Blind Dio Jefferson eventually discovered a new sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blue. It was rumored 
by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic, dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility Whoa. finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 continued to scan for the subject and the stealth suit prototype long after the test was over. Frustrated and unable to find its lost technology, X-13 expanded its network of laser tripwires, sensors, and robo-brains out across Big Mountain. This glittering blue light beam forest cleanly bisected anything that entered its depths, slicing them into small segmented parts for easy disposal. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank basement, filled with lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the Think Tank Dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, Old World Blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the big empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. You have lost the brainless perk. Sorry. You have gained the big brain perk. The big brain perk. Your brain is back in your body, but for some advanced technology, your head still cannot be crippled. 
but you are only 10% more resistant to addictions, and, and surprisingly, your damage threshold has been improved by 10%, plus one minimal DT. Okay, you have acquired the big mountain trans uh, transponder. It's capable of transporting you and you alone between the Mojave Wasteland and Big Mountain. You, to return to the Mojave, but go back to or go back to the mountain from Mave, simply equip the transporter uh, as you would any weapon. Pull the trigger and away you go. Note that it won't work on interiors or combat situations that is normally incapable of harming your enemies. I am online! Okay, I have to go now. I guess I get all of them now. I don't really need them all. Adjusting lights for maximum concentration levels. Do I get the... Since I don't really need the... I don't want to go to Big Mountain just yet. Hold on. These are where my spine is. My brain one. Damn. Wow. That was the end of it. Hold on. So if I go outside... Big Mountain... Here it is! is now complete. Now I'm back in the big and I'm back in the Mojave. I can grab all my stuff now and can sell what I have. Well anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Fallout Out New Vegas. And I hope you see you guys in the next one. Because the next one guys I'll be doing the divide. So anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy my friends. Bye-bye. Do you like me?